Well, as a result of this new room, I thought it would be appropriate for me to talk about my dad today. And uh, I'd like to read uh, uh, part of a letter that he wrote me when I was in graduate school in 1966. This letter was written almost 43 years ago after his great success as a football coach and in many other endeavors. He was a prolific writer and he wrote me many, many letters from the time I left home. And I hope this letter will provide you with a broadened perspective of who Bud Wilkinson was, what he believed in, and what he stood for. He wrote, Dear Jay, I'm on my way from St. Louis to San Diego. The names recognize our nation's Christian heritage. I am lonely and wondering, as I constantly do, of my purpose and my possible contribution to society. As yet, I have no solid answer or conviction. It is a beautiful flight. We left at 6.30 and it is now 8.30. But we're racing the sun on almost the longest day of the year. Essentially, we've been traveling with sunset on the clouds all the way. The American desert is vast. On the surface of the ground, I'm sure it is not beautiful. Rather, it is a hot, dusty, forbidding land where only serpents, insects, and lizards eke out a precarious existence. The courage of the pioneers in crossing our country was remarkable. Probably it was made possible by the richness of the goal, which in this case was the gold of California. Regardless of why they started, their achievements have built a great country. Essentially, the fuel for such performance must come from the heart. As the challenge to go west has been recognized by historians, the cowards never started and the weak died along the way, is simply further recognition of the demand for excellence in a world of evolution. The status quo is an admission of defeat. We must find better solutions to all of our problems. With research, honesty, and high hope, I believe that we can. Our unique experiment in government has made this nation the finest the world has yet known, not the most arrogant or domineering. We have given freely more of our substance to help others achieve not only economic prosperity, but also military parity. Why? Because of our faith in God. We are, perhaps were, would be a better term, a nation that based our actions on an honest conviction in the reality of God and his judgment. It was this faith that triggered our experiment in pure democracy. As the philosopher Hawking pointed out, democracy is the most difficult and perilous form of government because it calls for unselfishness on the part of officers and voters alike. To sustain this high morality against the tide requires religion, because it is only religion that makes morality a command from the cosmos. In a limited way, I was able through my coaching to achieve a momentary selflessness on the part of our team. When we played well, it was because the cause transcended individual recognition or honor. I love you. And I'm looking forward to spending next Tuesday with you. Always, Dad.